won't be hay. It won't be hay. Well, there are questions tonight after a fight was caught on camera at the Columbia Shopping Center. No one filed a police report in this case, but what happened still has some folks there concerned. Our Sharon Hayes joins us live from Columbia Place Mall with more. Sharon, what are people saying there? Well, hey there, Brian and Myra. The entire thing went down here at the Columbia Place Mall behind me, and it happened in the middle of the entire building. In fact, I spoke with one store manager who says he saw the whole thing unfold from the beginning, and it was very concerning for a lot of people. In fact, he says there used to be policies in place in the beginning that said that parents had to accompany minors after a certain time in the mall, but it's unclear whether that would even play a part in this, considering this happened in the middle of the afternoon. It was pretty loud. It was, you know, it got the attention of a lot of the people around the mall. Gathered around this commotion at the Columbia Place Mall Friday evening. <laughs> and what appears to be two teenaged girls in an intense fight in the middle of the floor. I don't know what happened. All I know, they were arguing. They were loud, kind of, you know, rambunctious. Um, by the time we got to the door, they started fighting. The fight went on for about three minutes before anybody stopped it. Carl Chambers says it happened right in front of his business, Jimmy Jazz. The video has been shared thousands thousands of times on social media. They kind of gathered around. A lot of people started pulling out their phones. You know how they do. Back in April, a shooting at the same mall injured two people. Deputies arrested a 19 year old. Um, I, just, I feel like uh, this mall is going down. Uh, uh, a lot because of the crime, a lot of the, the, um, the violence and the different things that goes down here. And Chambers says he simply hopes that something changes. We have people of all ages, you know, to come here and shop and we want our customers to feel comfortable shopping here. Now we did reach out to the Richland County Sheriff's Department and they said no incident was a report was filed by either party involved in the incident. They also say deputies did hear about the commotion beforehand, but once they arrived to the area, everything had apparently broken down and dispersed. Now we're still in conversations with the Richland County Sheriff's Department to determine if they're continuing to investigate this incident. Until we learn more, I'm Sharon Hayes live outside of the Columbia Place Mall. Watch Fox News. Columbia Place, a mall located on the edge of Columbia, South Carolina. This was my first time to Columbia, South Carolina, and when I arrived, I could tell that this area wasn't doing very well. When I arrived at the mall, my thoughts were further cemented by the condition of this place. Now, the inside wasn't in too bad a condition. It was mainly the outside and a lot of the out parcels that were abandoned or overgrown with weeds. 
this mall tends to cater to the urban black population that lives in the area. And I absolutely love malls like this because some of the fashion you'll see is awesome. It's just totally different and unique compared to the more upscale malls that you find in wealthier areas. Columbia Place, formerly the Columbia Mall, is one of South Carolina's largest shopping malls with nearly 1,100,000 square feet of retail space. Now, I wouldn't say that this mall is dead, but it is struggling. I mean, you have to remember, it only has one traditional anchor left, and that's the Macy's store. But what can I say? This is a two-level mall, and it has great architecture and aesthetics. This mall would open in 1977 and be developed by the Richard E. Jacobs Group. Unfortunately, its current owner is Moonbeam Capital, which doesn't have a very good track record of maintaining malls. When the mall first opened, it had a Belk, J.C. Penney, Riches, and Sears as its anchors. Dillard's would come in to replace the Belk in 1995, later closing in 2008. 1997 would see the addition of an eight-unit food court. In 2002, the mall would receive its first major renovation, and I think they did a really good job updating the mall while still maintaining some of its older styling. I like the way that the floor looks, and they maintained the skylights. It's just really well done. Because many malls, when they renovate and update, just become bland and boring, a lot like many of the Simon malls, and it's just, ugh, I don't like it. Wasn't seeing that former Disney store just awesome, and then to top it off, having Scooby-Doo in the window. Alright, so I hate when public spaces have carpeting in them. It just doesn't stay nice looking for very long, although I do love the pattern in the floor. I just wish they had have made it out of tile. This food court that we're about to see was really awesome looking. I just wish it had been filled with more food vendors. It's kind of looking empty. But I'm definitely digging this food court sign here. That's just awesome. Here you can see the center court, and this time they decided to do the centerpiece in tile instead of carpet, and I think that's a much better choice. I wish they had done that in the other wings of the mall. Columbia Place. This is actually a mall that if I lived nearby or in the area, I would definitely frequent from time to time. They had quite a few stores that I said, wow, this has some cool stuff in it. Unfortunately, though, there's a lot of vacant stores, and I would hope that they can fill those in the near future, but I don't know if the local economy can support a mall like this any longer. Thank you for coming along to check out Columbia Place in Columbia, South Carolina. If you want to see the raw and real edition with all the mall sounds and everything left as it was when I visited, you can check out the Patreon link down below in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest here at Tilted Tripod Media and so that you don't miss another video. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next episode.